like in your search, like you're like, let's take a look at the early church. Let's see what yeah. they said. How did they interpret Paul? Because like, talk about how do you get to the authorial intent? You try to get as close as you can to like the readers of the time to get a sense of what was Paul meaning here? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so tell me about like that journey. Like as you began to like explore that concept yeah. um, of like, okay, justified by faith and is it faith, faithfulness? And then like, what is that opposed to works of the law? What is works of the law? Walk us through like how you began to like query that. Yeah. I, so, so for me, I had always, from what I knew about the early church, I'd always just held a high, a high view of it without really knowing a whole lot. Um, I think, you know, like a lot of people just kind of bouncing between different, you know, denominations, ecclesial context and stuff. I just didn't, didn't have a whole lot of real, real knowledge besides, gosh, these people sound really cool from the little tidbits I've picked up and I would really love to study them so, someday. And so, uh, so I, you know, I already, I already had, you know, kind of a, a high view to go and start with. And some of that is just, you know, just based off of, uh, you know, if you're thinking in relation to scriptural interpretation, like these are people who share the same, same context. They're people who are, you know, historically, there's, there's so much, so much closer and have such closer ties than we can ever possibly hope to go and to reconstruct by, you know, the best of my methods that we can go and come, come up with. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a quote from C.S. Lewis, which you probably come, come across. Uh, that is that features uh, in, in the conclusion of the of the book uh, from his his fern seed and elephants, um, which he just kind of says you know the idea that uh, that we as sort of modern people can go and reconstruct everything perfectly and that everybody and you know the original context just you know who understood the culture who understood everything that they didn't get this this is like this idea is so preposterous they I almost don't know how to engage with it and. Um, uh, and yeah, I, so anyway, I, I, I've, I've kind of always had, had that just as a, you know, as, as a sense of, you know, when, you know, when you need to you know, understand what scripture means in one way or another, that you kind of have that as a, you know, as a, as a guide, though it wasn't something that originally I'd, I'd gone and tested a whole, whole lot of, um, I, I really got into, you know, I, when I started at Regent College, I had a chance to start reading through the, the early church fathers and was just, just blown away. Um, I was, I, 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 the richness that was there, I just found to be un unbelievable. And, um, so that was, that was already happening as I was kind of going at the same time as, as I was doing this, this, uh, this work on justification. So, you know, some papers I was writing on justification and stuff. And then, um, particularly this, the, the, this paper on, on works of the law, which became sort of the, the seed article, which then became the dissertation, which then became the book in the first version. And now in the, the new version is coming out with IVP. Um, the, uh, that, that paper, I, I wrote, uh, that, or you can say the, the genesis of that paper is I was just doing an assessment of, 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 uh, the old and new perspectives on works of the law, because the longer I studied, it kind of seemed like this is really your, your key issue that divides them. Um, there's, there's a lot of other stuff that they're more or less on the same page, or at least kind of in the same, same ballpark. And when it comes to works of the law, they're just, they weren't in the same ballpark. They're, they weren't even playing the same sport. They're, it's totally, <laughs> it's totally different. And so, uh, so that was what I was trying to reconcile. And I was just rec trying to, you know, write a paper to reconcile on a pure kind of exegetical basis. But I was reading, uh, John Calvin's commentary on Romans. Um, and, uh, I was, I was just in the, in the Regent Library look, looking through it. And I had read a lot of Calvin the, the semester previously for, for J.I. Packer. So I've gotten really used to the way that he, he goes, goes and writes and just, uh, you know, rhetorically the way that he goes, goes and operates. And so I, I got to the section I was looking at in Romans 3.20. Um, and he goes, he says, it is a matter of doubt, even amongst the learned, what the works of the law mean. And then he goes, which I thought, well, that's a really interesting admission. And then he goes and he says, you know, the addition, the addition of law induced, uh, you know, Chrysostom, Origen, and Jerome to think this is referring to, you know, the ceremonies of the Mosaic law. And then he goes and he proceeds to say, I'm aware that St. Augustine has a different position from what I'm saying, too. And then he kind of says, hey, all these guys are wrong. And then he sort of goes and proceeds. And I'm just thinking, like, this is really <laughs> interesting. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Delgado podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.